Right, I'm not sure why defending yourself is seen as such a big deal here. I think it's because he's not able to take the stand and, you know, give testimony to help himself. You know, he's got to run solely off of uh, his own wits. I suppose it's a better thing to do than trust one of his silly lawyers. That White would have arranged for him. Right, for the sake of time, we're gonna let this go because it doesn't matter anyway. Right, can't wait to take this smug prick down. Look at that face. <laughs> Blanco Nino. That was random. I have no idea. That probably means something, but I don't know. Alright then, here we go. First contradiction's fucking easy. Well, not really, but yeah, we I know it. This guy's a shite testifier, if that's even a word. It probably isn't, but he's shite anyway. Alright, here we go then. We gotta press him on one little bit though. The part about giving chase. Did you see the little ellip the little dot oh fuck, what's it called again? What's the English term again for you know a pause of three dots? Is it ellipsis? I think that's what it is. I don't remember. But yeah, you know that's where you press. Oh, Edgeworth knows there's a contradiction. How do we know there's a country? Oh, fucking hell. Objection. I'm sorry, Phoenix, not even your objections can wake me up. I know too, right? I know too. Both are right. <laughs>
Right, where was Mr. White then? He was right where the indicator was in the first place, really. Right there! <laughs> of course it was! Right, another one. With another big glaring contradiction to go with it. Right, you gotta give him credit, that is a pretty good cover-up. But... <laughs> even Phoenix sees it. Right, I'm pretty sure you could present the evidence in any... ...bit of this bit, but here we go. You hit her twice, eh? Well, how come the autopsy report says she died from a single blow? Uh, no, I'm still sleepy. <laughs> Maybe I should present evidence like that all the time. Just raise my voice! And everybody in the house is wondering what the fuck. <laughs> and we're getting the Allegro version. Shit's getting real. Oh god, and somebody's coming in. Just a minute. I'm back. Right. I wasn't even paying attention, White, and already I see your contradiction. First, we just gotta press you right here. Mm, the glass light stand, eh? Yes, it does. Everything sounds odd when it comes out of a witness's mouth. It's the truth. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Hmm. So you saw a light stand, eh? Interesting. But how come when we look at the floor plans, the light stand isn't in the field of vision when viewed from the hotel? I don't think that's gonna get old. I enjoy doing that. That's funny. And if you don't like it, eh, Phoenix, Phoenix explains it better than I do, I guess.
<laughs> Ridiculousity. Actually, I just... I just realized for the first time, actually, those glass shards are evidence in the court record, but you never once have to present them for anything at all. It's literally red herring stuff. Maybe if you present them to a character doing investigation, they'll tell you a bit about them, but you don't... you really, really don't need it. <laughs> no way! Edgeworth initiated the fucking cornered music! Lies! Oh, you sneaky bastard! You fucking grr. Oh, Edgeworth, I want to take your whatever the fuck that is around your neck and strangle you with it. Avocat or something, I don't know. I'm gonna be a little bitch here because this is one of these scenarios where you just have to, like the bellboy, you have to press everything he says, but you don't get anything. So I'm just gonna skip through it. You can skip it. You can skip through it when you've played through the case uh, for the first time. You can't. When you're playing through it for the first time, you can't skip it. I mean, but in this way, when you're doing it for a second time, you can. And this is what I'm going to do now because it's pointless.